the Venus flytrap. It catches insects with booby traps. At the top, the leaves are baited with a sweet nectar. But lower down, there are a few upright bristles. Triggers. Many things might accidentally touch one of them, so a single touch has no effect. But a fly crawling around on the leaf sipping the nectar is likely to touch more than one of the bristles. And if it touches two within 20 seconds, that's different. thought that the trigger hairs work by releasing a rudimentary electric impulse. The victim's desperate attempts to find a way out simply trigger more hairs and encourage the trap to close even more tightly. The plant begins to release juices rich in hydrochloric acid. It will take 10 days to completely digest its meal. This tangle of silk is the home of one of Australia's most feared spiders, the highly venomous redback. Despite its appearance, this web is actually highly complex and very finely engineered. It contains some of the strongest silk produced by any spider. So strong that she can catch and transport prey far larger than herself. First, she winds strands of silk around the struggling beetle to immobilize it. When the beetle tires, she bites. She must pull her victim up to the part of the web where she lives. She starts snipping and reattaching the lines of silk. These lines are under tension. They're spring-loaded, and that allows the redback to haul huge weights around her web. The tiny male watches as she retrieves her catch. Spider silk is as stretchy as elastic, but harder to snap than steel. Spiders are usually solitary, but these spiders are different. They're social. They live in groups of up to a hundred, and they're all related, brothers and sisters, parents, uncles and aunts, all on the same web. They live side by side and hunt together. Here too, the mothers care for their young. Once these eggs are hatched, she'll feed the spiderlings by regurgitating food until they're old enough to hunt for themselves. For now, with so many spiders guarding the web, it's safe for her to leave the eggs in search of food. This mantis is far too large for any single spider to attack.
so instead they collaborate. All the nearby spiders help to hold it down. Even the smaller, young spiders lend a hand. Eventually, when their prey is exhausted, the spiders feed. It's not unusual for spiderlings to eat the bodies of older spiders that have died in the web. In fact, in some species of social spider, the mother always dies when the spiderlings hatch and they feed on her corpse. So the generations pass and the family thrives. This vast web will persist for perhaps five years until eventually the family moves on. By living together as an extended family and all looking out for each other, these social spiders have helped guarantee their survival. But some insects have taken this practice a stage further. Family members have begun to specialize. But some bugs have such perfect camouflage, they're virtually invisible, even though they're totally exposed. Predators use camouflage to hunt their prey unseen. Their victims use it to avoid being found and eaten. But disguise can be a potent weapon. In the forests of East Africa, one insect has taken its camouflage to a bizarre and somewhat gruesome extreme. This is an assassin bug. To us, it's easy enough to spot because it moves. To its prey, that's irrelevant because it smells like one of their number. The assassin sucks its victims dry and glues their empty husks onto its back. This one is already carrying at least 20 corpses. Its irregular shape makes it hard for other predators to spot it and makes it virtually invisible to its prey, ants. It enters this ant colony unchallenged. Its coat of ant corpses masks its own odor. To the ants, it smells like one of their own, and that's what matters. They'll even run straight over the top of it. The assassin simply takes an ant whenever it feels hungry. And the body of each victim then adds to its disguise. Conflict pervades the bug world. It shapes their bodies. It dictates their lifestyles, the ant lions beneath the sand. 
the trapdoor spiders, 20 years in a burrow. And it's their extraordinary diversity that underpins their success.